Hey y'all, it's TX Stampin' Sharon. I am live on Thursday, June 10th at 7 p.m. And I almost forget to push the go button because I'm too busy reading the chat. You guys get on early and I'm still like setting things up and um, it's just so it's just so fun that you guys are anticipating me going live and that you tune in and all start talking to each other. I love that. Um, I've got to get myself more organized, I think, so that I can probably jump on like at 630 and just really have some good conversations with you guys uh, before the live starts. So, all right, let me push a few more buttons here. Um, <laughs> Jeannie says that y'all love talking about me. I, I scroll back up to see what I had missed and y'all were talking about my giggle. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I have laughed like this my whole life. I don't know. I don't know how, why I laugh the way I do, but it um, appears to entertain you guys. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, let's see. Um, hi, Carol. Hi, Joan. Hi, Sue. Hello, Colleen. Well, it's Carol's anniversary. Happy anniversary. That's right. I did see that on Facebook. Um, okay. Just checking to see who all's here. I'm here, Joan. I'm here. <laughs> okay. So, um, tonight, I'm going to be doing a little coloring. I tried to do some things ahead of time so that um, you guys don't get bored watching me cut out things or, you know, stuff like that. But um, I realized that, well, we do mystery stamping. Those of you who know me, we do mystery stamping every Monday. And several Mondays back, gosh, probably three, four weeks maybe, we did this layout. And I realized that that layout that I did for that mystery card, which was totally different, um, would be perfect to use with the ombre papers because you only get four sheets of the ombre papers in a pack. You get the four colors, but it's like, we want to hoard that. <laughs> we want to hang on to it and use it sparingly. This is the perfect layout for that. So I can't wait to switch the camera around and show you um, my cards. Um, I see that the spe my speech is not in line with my lips. Uh-oh. Well, I'm looking at my camera there, and it is. Maybe there's a bit of a delay in the internet. Um, let's see. Just see if there's any other problems. Um, Well, hi, Kim. I'm glad you're back, and I'm glad that you're healing after your surgery. I'm so sorry that you had to have surgery. Um, hi, Carrie from El Paso. Okay. All right. I don't see anybody else saying that there's anything wrong, so I'm going to depend on Michelle Batson to help out after I flip cameras around because I... I know I can't multitask, um, read the comments and stay on target, stay on task. So I will be turning that over to her. Um, you guys who have joined me, okay, so everybody says it's fine. Okay, good. You guys who've joined us each week when I do the lives know that um, Michelle helps and we couldn't, I couldn't do this without her. <laughs> There's absolutely no way. Man, did I hate missing last Thursday night. I had everything set and ready to go, and I didn't have internet all day. It came back on about 7.30, which is 30 minutes after our live would have started, and it just, it went out, it come back on, and so that's what would have happened during the live if we'd have gone live, I think, um, and then Friday morning it was back, it went out again. We are at the mercy of the internet so we, but we have this great platform um, that is free <laughs> that we can share and chat and have a good time. So that's what we're going to do tonight. So I'm going to switch cameras and we're going to get started. So, all righty, let's see here. Okay. 
I'm gonna move my laptop out of the way, but I'm gonna put it to where maybe I can see what you guys are saying, just in case I miss anything. So Michelle will let me know if I need to answer um, a certain question or anything like that. Um, so let's see, let me just flip that there. Okay. Um, oh, <laughs> so I just saw that Juliana said, you're doing great here in Connecticut. Guess the long distance gives time for your lips to catch up to your speech. <laughs> that is true. That is true. So um, I have the two cam uh, the two cameras. These are not cameras. These are catalogs. And the camera, I said it again. I have the two catalogs here that I want to show you what I'm using um, for tonight's uh, Stampin' Live with Sharon. And I just realized something. Hang on just a second. Let's grab this. Okay. I thought I had everything ready, but no. All right. So what I'm going to be using tonight is coming from the mini catalog that retires the end of June, which is, you know, coming up quickly. Um, I'm using the True Love Designer Series papers. If any of y'all love to just sit and color, this paper is for you. I mean, I love this paper so much, and I, I love it because it's black and white, and I love it because I love to color. So I'm kind of sad that it's going away, um, but I will tell you something else that is black and white that will be coming, that is current in this catalog. By the way, I didn't mention, if you do not have um, the current annual catalog, you can contact me below the video. Uh, just click that show more button or read more button, whatever it says these days. And um, there's a place to request my catalog. So if you live in the United States, I can send this to you for free. Give me big bold fonts any day and I'm a happy gal. I tell you, I love this stamp set. But, you know, it kind of goes against my rule because I always tell people, um, buy stamp set with, um, like, like this one, with sentiments and images. But this, this big, bold stuff, oh yeah, I'm all about that. So let's talk about that paper. Over here, like this little hidden gem. Why did they have to hide it like that? They should have put it big because it's so pretty. It's so fun. It graduates, so it's the ombre, and it comes in gorgeous grape, uh, crushed curry. Um, what was the other one? Oh, it says Knight of Navy, but it doesn't look Knight of Navy, so that's why I always stop. And then Calypso Coral. So super pretty. They go together really well. As a matter of fact, I was playing with it today with something else, so hmm, there you go. All right, and of course, I'm using my Stampin' Blends. So this paper... You know, literally, you just start coloring and then just cut out whatever one you want, okay? Let me show you my cards. Here is the one that is on the screen when y'all were waiting for me to go live. Can you see the wink of Stella on the flowers and the leaves? It, I just had to do that. I had to do wink of Stella with this glimmery ombre paper. Golly, I'm, there we go. There's the lot hitting it, okay? So pretty, super quick card, but gorgeous. It is just so pretty. So that's the gorgeous grape. And then here is the Crush Curry and it ombres this way. Can you see the lighter side over here? This one, I did the ombre that way. And then here's the Knight of Navy. And I told y'all, it doesn't look Knight of Navy to me. So I used a Pacific Point marker to color my flowers because we don't have a Pacific Point Stampin' Blend, but we sure do have that marker. So I used that. And again, just that ombre glittery look, so pretty. Oh, y'all are saying pretty. Okay, thank you. And then how about the Calypso Coral? Look at these bold fonts. I love it. And I love the scripty font. Big. Stampin' Up! needs more big fonts. <laughs> For all of us older people that have a hard time with the tiny bitty ones. But these are my four cards. And so I'm going to show you how I made them. 
Notice it's all the same layout that I used on that mystery stamping, okay? Just, it doesn't matter which way you turn the paper or which way you turn the card, it's still a pretty card. There you go. All right. So I always like to show you the stamp set, see? And what's so fun is it has thanks in the scripty and thanks in the bold, same with the birthday, same with the happy. So you can mix and match, and that's what makes it fun too. There is no dies with this stamp set, and I'm perfectly happy with that. It's a great stamp set, and they have changed how they have, let's see if I can do this. I didn't do them all because I wanted to show you on those. So they have changed, they have printed the words and everything on the actual insert. See that? So you can just take your sentiments and put them on like this. Kind of cool. The only challenge that I haven't quite figured out is I can't read backwards. <laughs> oh, too funny. But I do like how they've done that because these things annoy me. I don't know about y'all. Okay. Before I forget, I do have the measurements. I have the free download on my blog. Give me a few minutes um, after the live is over and you can go grab these, um, grab this free download. Um, I try to do that every week so that you guys don't forget. You can print this off and put it in your, um, in your binders and have a ready reference easily uh, for all my cards. All right, I'm gonna need my trimmer. Have you ever had a demonstration on how to color? Um, well, we can make that be our demonstration tonight because I am using the Stampin' Blends. Um, and I'm using, here's the paper, okay? I have my uh, paper, but I've already cut it. Oh, I was gonna show y'all, hang on. So I told you that the black and white paper is one of my favorites. Pair it with Daffodil Delight or Real Red and I'm a happy gal. Um, so I was super sad. I was like, every time we get black and white paper, they take it away. It's too, it's gone too quickly. So let's see, where is it? So whenever you have an order that's $150, you get to pick out a free host item, okay? Here's our black and white paper. Love it, love it. They gave it back. Now I'm, these images are a little bit smaller to color. It can be done but at least I have some black and white and this is gonna last me all year long. You wait till you see the videos that I have coming up with that black and white paper from the host stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Um, oh, Renee is telling me to write the word underneath each stamp. Thank you, Renee. I'll get my Sharpie out. So yeah, so I've got my black and white paper and then here is, you gotta see this in person. Here is that ombre paper. So. Darker at the bottom, lighter at the top. So pretty. And like I said, you only get four sheets, one of each color. So this layout is absolutely perfect. See, dark to light. And then we have, see, that doesn't look night of navy, but that's what they're calling it. And then that one goes to light. So there you go. Okay. Um, yeah, and I have, Makeba, I have done some other videos on coloring. Um, did I do that on the video that had um, uh, card hacks? I don't remember, but I have done them. Um, okay, so I'm bringing in my trimmer. Uh-oh, my, my camera stalled there. I hope it's just on my end. My piece of ombre paper is five and a half inches by two and a half inches. So think about it. Our 12 by 12 paper, um, you can get a lot of pieces out of one 12 by 12 paper. I'm watching my camera over here to see if I'm still kind of delaying a little bit. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a one half inch strip. This is just the easiest way to remember this. I'm gonna cut a one half inch strip. I am delaying. Oh, shoot. I don't know what's going on. I don't see anything wrong. Hold on. On my end, let me fix that, see if that helps. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Hopefully it'll be okay. Then I'm gonna cut another half inch strip. Set that aside. I have already used my snips and fussy cut out the flower. I figured, eh, y'all don't wanna see me do that. But I will tell you, whenever you're cutting these out, well, let me get my other piece. Where'd that other piece go? Um, let's see, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> yeah, right, Renee? So when you are cutting these out, you know, Start your snips, and then don't move the paper per se, just move your snips, okay? So it's super easy, it doesn't take that long, okay? So, I, I never used to fussy cut, and now I'm perfectly fine with it, so. All right, let me get, the fun thing about doing it this way too, um, of coloring is if you don't quite get, like let's say right here, I have some white sticking out, I can just color it with my Stampin' Blend. So I have the Highland Heather, um, the light and the dark. Nope, that's, did I mean Highland Heather? Yeah, I did, I got Highland Heather because I was trying to go more for the lighter part up here. Boy, I don't get, what is going on? <laughs> My internet's probably gonna go out. No, don't say that, don't say that. Okay, I'm so glad y'all think they're beautiful, thank you. So I'm just going to color very quickly with the lighter of the Highland Heather. Whenever you're using the Stampin' Blends, you just wanna be able to turn your paper um, so that you can you know, get it at all different angles. But the fact that I have cut this out with my snips makes this super easy and quick. Like I said, this is a beautiful card and so fast. Having all of those um, different patterns to color can give all of your cards such a different look. Super fun. What I love too about the blends, and I'm gonna show you right here. Okay, so I can come back with the same blend. I'm still using the light. And I can come in and make it a little bit darker. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, so see how it's still lighter in the middle, but darker on the edges? And that's just using the same Stampin' Blend, the same lighter one. You know, now they're sold in packs of two, but before when we only had one, it was great to know that you could still add a little bit of depth to your coloring just by going back over parts of it. I opted not to color my centers anymore. I just left them black and white. I did play with using yellow and it just got lost because there's so much black in the centers. I was like, nah, we'll just leave it open. Um, just looking to see if you guys are saying anything. Um, okay, you guys are just chatting amongst them, amongst yourselves. Are y'all watching me? <laughs> nope, just chatting. Okay, so we've got that. Then I'm gonna take the darker version and I'm gonna take the finer tip, the bullet tip, and I'm just gonna come in 
on some of these lines, not all of them, just to give it a little bit more depth. That's what's so great about the blends. Um, you can do so many different things with them. I don't know if Mary Walk is on here, but she gave me, uh, yeah, I did. I gave y'all some tips before about the blends and the different coloring because Mary Walk is like a pro at um, uh, alcohol markers. And so she sent me some stuff and yeah, it's, it's super fun. Um, I think it was Makeba that asked. It's super fun to play with the blends. The biggest thing I can tell you is don't be afraid. Just grab them and play. Okay. And then I'm going to take the lighter one again with the barrel. You always want to make sure too that you hear that click because you do not want um, these to dry out. And then I'm just going to come back in and just kind of blend. And, and you almost end up with just like a two-tone effect. And every one of these I do, they're all different, which makes it fun. You know, we don't want them to all be the same all the time. Vicki says she always learns something new. I'm so glad. You know, I love to share whatever I've learned. Um, if y'all saw my uh, die cutting hacks video yesterday, everybody has, re no, Tuesday, it was Tuesday. Everybody has said how much that has helped them. And that makes my heart so happy because I want to help people. And you know, we all can't be in the same room together. I know some of us have talked about doing that. <laughs> Um, but it's hard. You guys live all over the world. I've got Einick in the Netherlands and um, people from Canada. So, you know, it's hard. It's hard for us to all be together. But having YouTube where I can share these ombre cards um, and, and tips and tricks with you is awesome. You know, I think it's funny when I, you know, people ask me, what do you do? And I said, I, I do YouTube videos. And they're like, like for real? And I go, yeah. I guess they figured this old lady couldn't do that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, can y'all see the different shading of my flower? Can y'all see that? I hope so, because it's so pretty. So pretty. The light and the dark. So much fun. Um, Kathy says, the die cutting hacks was awesome. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that helped you. Um, oh, my nails do match. <gasps> Stop it. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> and we're going to put Wink of Stella on this, so they'll really match my nails. Oh, that's funny. I promise I didn't do that on purpose. Um, I know, Vey. I agree. I think it's wonderful that we can all stay in touch with each other through social media, uh, through YouTube like this. And... If you guys are on Facebook, I did open up a, um, just this week, I opened up a group on Facebook that is called TX Sharon Stamping Friends. TX Sharon's Stamping Friends. You all can join that and stay connected to each other. Um, Renee, one of my um, mystery stampers, she said that people were wanting to stay connected after I turned off the camera. So there you go. You could post cards on there. You could meet people that perhaps live in your area. So it, it's a great thing. Um, and those of you who are my mystery stampers, I also opened up a group for mystery stampers. Um, that's a separate group. So if you wanna be a part of those groups, you can search for them on Facebook. 
Um, TX Stampin' Sharon's Mystery Stampers is the mystery stamping one. And then um, the other one, like I said, is, and I should have written that down so y'all could find it. If you can't find it and you wanna be on those groups, just uh, contact me using the link below and I'll hook you up, so. All right, so I'm just adding the green. Um, I'm using Old Olive and I decided I wanted to kind of leave it a little bit more variegated. Can y'all see that on the camera? With my, if it would quit stalling, I don't know what's wrong with that camera. Okay, so I've done all that now, and um, I will grab my Wink of Stella. I realized today when I was playing with it that it's running out, so I need to get another, a new one, but I've had this thing for so long that I, who would have thought that it would run out? <laughs> but I got it working enough to be able to do um, the live tonight. Whenever you get your Wink of Stella, which is a glitter pen, you want to squeeze the bulb and you want to squeeze it away from your project because do you see what that just did? I got Wink of Stella drops, okay? So you always want to move it away from your project, but I go over here and pick it up and then I get lots of glitter on my project. So there's no waste, but you don't want a big glob like perhaps you weren't gonna put Wink of Stella on that certain area. Um, so you don't want a big glob. So you do want to squeeze that bulb off away from your project. I'm still picking it up. Okay, I think we're done now. All right, so let's just, oh, we got too much there. I mean, is there really too much Wink of Stella, such a thing? Yeah, that was too much. So it's just a glitter brush and it's just, it just adds such sparkle. Um, I am doing this a little heavy because I wanted to show up on the camera when I hold it up. This takes very little time to dry. It's really quick and it just adds, uh, it's a wow. I'm sorry, there's no other word for it. You know, Stampin' Up! used to sell loose glitter, um, but you couldn't do something like this with it. It was kind of hard unless you used our, um, uh, what do you call it? Heat and, heat and stick powder. Let's see. Um, Vay says, I need to get my Wink of Stella back out. I tried it, but couldn't see any difference. Oh, come on, Vay. Can you see this? If my camera will cooperate. There. Can y'all see the sparkle? It matches my nails now. <laughs> um... Let's see, please keep the YouTube videos and lives too. I don't have Facebook. Oh no, I'm not going away from YouTube. No ma'am, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just saying that if you guys want to connect when I turn off the camera, there is a Facebook group. Cindy, this is called Wink of Stella and it is clear. Um, you can find it on my store, uh, but it's Wink of Stella. And like I said, I've had this pen for so long and I use it a lot because I love the glitter. You know me, I love the glitter. Um, so yeah, it is, uh, it's called Wink of Stella and it's clear. They used to have one that had some, a gold tint to it, but that was just, it wasn't my favorite. Um, yeah, so no, I am not replacing YouTube. I am still going to do mystery stamping on YouTube. I am still going to do these lives every Thursday night. Um, I'm not going nowhere. Don't worry. Okay, so now we have our cut strips and I'm going to push a button here because I see something not happy. Um, yep, hopefully it'll be okay. All right, so like I said, I have that download for you, but I'll just tell you. Of course, my basic white thick cardstock is five and a half by eight and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter. Yeah, I'm sorry about the delay on my camera, guys. I don't know what's going on. All right, so we're going to get our adhesive started. And I'm just going to, I'm using the Seal Plus because you don't have to use as much. I feel like the ombre paper is a little bit on the heavier side of paper 
So I just want to um, make sure that it doesn't pop off. There's that. And now we're going to add one of our half strips. Catch the top of that. And then we're gonna bring this right in. Now, because it's ombre, you could switch it if you wanted to. <gasps> Let's try that. Let's just see if it makes a difference. We're gonna put the darker at the top. Hey, we can do anything. We're just being creative, right? Make sure that's straight. Push it down. And then we have our last piece. So those of you who are my mystery stampers, do y'all remember this layout? I think it was about a month ago. It was before I went on vacation and Memorial Day. Okay, so now we're gonna keep this one like this. And all I did was make sure I had a border on both sides, which I do. Okay, so now we need to do some stamping. We are stampers, right? So we need to do some stamping. I have the Highland Heather um, stamp pad. And I have my Memento ink. Let's see, glitter without getting it all over everything. Absolutely, Michelle. Oh my gosh, I my kids would go to school with glitter on them. They're like, Mom, can you quit using glitter? We, it's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so sorry, but um, I love glitter. But now they don't live at home anymore, so they don't know now that we don't have that problem anymore. <laughs> um, let's see. Cindy says, I was wondering about the Wink of Stella. Is that a Stampin' Up product? Will I ship to Canada? Okay. Cindy, I can't ship to Canada, but there are many Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrators that you could order from. Uh, let's see, Tina Zink, the Serene Stamper is one. Um, but yeah, if you order from a um, Canadian demonstrator, you can search for a demonstrator close to you on the Stampin' Up! website, and then um, they can uh, help you with the order. So I'm going to, but it is a Stampin' Up! product. That was part of your question. I'm going to just stamp happy. And I like to hold the stamp here for a few seconds. I really want all my ink to transfer to the cardstock. Okay, and we're gonna move that out of the way. And now we're gonna bring in, let me push this over on the side. And we're going to ink up birthday. And we're just gonna stamp that right over that. Okay, now whenever you use photopolymer stamps, Memento or Stazon, they always stick. You have to kind of peel it off. But look how fun. Happy birthday, love it. All right, let's close this lid because I know I'll get my fingers in it. I swear I did not realize that my nails were purple and our project was purple. I am just still laughing over that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add these two layers together. I'm just gonna center this on. Uh, what were the measurements of this? Let me think, hold on, let me get my sheet out. So my basic white layer was one and a half by two and three quarters. And I used Gorgeous Grape for the cardstock and it is one, one and three quarters by three inches, okay? For those of you who are watching on your TV, like you guys tell me you do all the time. All right, let's grab our dimensionals. And we're gonna pop these on, maybe. We're just gonna put everything on with dimensionals. I like to put a lot on there because this is gonna go through the US mail and those rollers. Um, Virginia, ah, Virginia is a Canadian demonstrator. There you go, there's your Canadian demonstrator. It is perfectly fine, Virginia, because I can't sell to Canada. I wish, but I can't. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's you a demonstrator. 
All right, so we're really putting, I'm really putting a lot of dimensionals on this designer series paper because it's designer series paper. It is not cardstock. So it needs a lot of support. Um, and we're gonna give them, we're gonna give it that support. Let's do one more. You know, you get so many of these on a sheet, so it's all good. All right, so first we're gonna put our sentiment layer. Uh, little Stella wants to go outside, so she's barking at the door. She'll have to wait unless her daddy hears her. <laughs> oh, I always try to boot the dogs out and that didn't happen tonight, so there you go. All right, so we're gonna add this right here. And then we're gonna pop off all of these. I love being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I have been teaching and sharing for over 23 years. In August, it'll be 24 years. That's a long time. But I first started and I said, oh, I'm just gonna get the starter kit and learn everything and then I'm gonna quit. Well, here I am still learning so I can't, that little flower is very delicate. So I'm gonna take that off a little bit different way. I'm gonna stick my fingernail in there and not use my take your pick tool. And that backing just comes right off when I do that. Okay, so now we can decide, do we want this to go this way? Do we want it to go this way? Here's my other card. And so the beauty of creating is changing things up if you want to. And I think I want to, I don't know, just kind of playing. For some reason, I think I'm gonna do it that way. There you go. Okay, so same layout. I flipped my ombre. I like that. What do y'all think? Um, Cynthia says, Sharon, that is a long time, but you obviously love doing this. I do love doing this. The starter kit is still $99. You can shop for up to $125 and um, it's totally customizable kit. You can get anything you want. Plus you only pay the um, sales tax. You don't pay shipping. Shipping is, how many of y'all hate shipping? Me, I'm telling you. I got a message from a lady today that she said, thank you for the card you mailed me in March. I got it yesterday. March? That's three months. Okay, I think I am. Let's see if I can zoom. Uh, let's see. I'll probably mess things up if I do this, but let's do a preview. Yep, I messed it up. Okay, fine. I was trying to zoom out. Hold on, I know my finger's in the way. One day, maybe I'll know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, what is happening? I shouldn't have pushed a button. What? Come on. <laughs> Y'all are gonna fire me. Come on, come on back out. Yeah, the camera is really acting wonky tonight. But you know what? Hopefully y'all still love me. <laughs> I wanted you to see all the cards. That's all I was trying to do. Why is things so hard sometimes? Okay, there's all the cards. Goodness gracious. Huh. I shouldn't push buttons, I guess, but the camera, y'all knew the whole time the camera was acting crazy and obviously with it zooming in, it went nuts. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Let's see if you guys have fired me. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> Let's see. Yes, if you guys ever need to contact me, need to go to my store, need to need anything, um, you can click the show more button below all of my videos and find out a plethora of information. And if you ever need help placing an order, I'm honored to help you. Um, you know, sometimes, website might not be as user-friendly or something to some of us, which sometimes to me it's not, but I'm always happy to uh, help you place your orders. So um, let's see, pretty cards, gremlins, Patricia, that's what it is. I have gremlins in the studio tonight. 
Rhonda said it isn't just me. Well, that's good to know because, I mean, I've gotten a new router. I've, it's sunny outside. Who knows what the problem is? So, um, oh, Barbie took a picture with her phone. Awesome. You can see all the cards um, up close and personal on my blog, and you can see that link below the video. So, um, and while you're over there, go ahead and grab that free tutorial because it's free. Why not? So, um, <laughs> Lainey, Lainey says she enjoyed even with the camera problems. <laughs> you know, Lainey, my daughter's name is Lainey. I spelled it a little bit different. I spelled it L-A-I-N-E-Y, but yeah, Lainey, love it. Um, Delina says, Sharon Armstrong, great job on these cards. I would not have thought to use the ombre that way. Um, but see, yeah, using the ombre that way, you're only using two and a half by five and a half. So um, cutting it into strips stretches that ombre paper designer series paper, all those things that we don't like to like use all up because we can't buy it again. Yeah. Okay. Oh, y'all aren't going to fire me. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Uh, thanks, Ina. She says, don't forget to uh, hit the thumbs up button. You know, YouTube loves it when there's comments after the live. YouTube loves it when y'all share the videos. Um, they love that interaction and so do I because, um, you know, it's, I, I get up, I swear, I get up in the mornings and I get my coffee and I sit down at the computer and I start reading the YouTube comments and then like the, the die cutting hacks video, it took me three days to get through. It took me Tuesday, Wednesday, today. So three days to get through all the comments. So I may not get them all done that day, but I do read each one of them and I reply. So if you guys need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much, Michelle, for helping tonight. Um, I love to just scroll back through sometimes and read what you guys were saying. And so um, I just really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day, evening, wherever you're at in the world. Um, to spend it with Michelle and I for um, a few bit, a few minutes. So have a great week. I'll be back with Mystery Stamping on Monday. I'll be back with a YouTube Live next Thursday. And what am I doing? Oh, yeah, you don't want to miss it. Mm -hmm. It's over there in the box. Do you want to see? No, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, Barbie says she may be placing another order. Well, if you want the True Love Designer Series paper, you better order it because after the uh, June 30th, it'll be gone. So there you go. Um, Priscilla says she loves my cards. Great ideas for ombre paper. Carol says, no way will we fire you. We have too much fun when we're here with you. I'm so glad. Um, Delina says, I was watching the die cutting video and my internet crashed. How do I find, have to find it again? Okay, so it was on Tuesday. So if you go to my channel and you look at videos, this one will show up first. The die cutting one is second, but otherwise you could search on YouTube for die cutting hacks and look for my face. There you go.